The first actual spaceport on the entire planet, the Starbase, is also a Starship rocket production, research, and launch facility. The scale of this engineering project is quite simply epic. The projects created there will change our understanding of the universe we live, planetary exploration and habitation, and quite literally change the entire path of human history. So what on earth is actually going on inside there? Join us as we take a look inside the SpaceX Starship factory, Starbase. Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, founder of PayPal, and head of SpaceX, has been steadily working on his plans to save humanity using technology and now he's really stepped up his game. It would seem Elon Musk's dream is slowly becoming a reality, with pieces of the puzzle coming together to paint a perfect picture. What was originally just a loose idea on paper is now an actual physical structure that is taking shape. While it has been a highly guarded secret for years, in today's video we are going to be taking a peek into the SpaceX Starship factory, which is known as Starbase. The Starship rocket production and research facility is located in Cameron County in the Rio Grande Valley in South Texas. Based on the plans for the Starbase, all individuals who work at the launch site would live there, as would everyone planning to travel on the rocket. It would also serve as a tourist attraction for people who want to see the incredible power of a launch. Musk envisions it as the starting point for humans traveling to Mars in the future, with each powerful Starship spacecraft carrying up to 100 passengers at a time. They will need the kind of living quarters and infrastructure that only a town or city can offer as they get ready for their trip. Starting the tour of the facility, we would begin at the shipyard or as it is otherwise called, the build site. Large rolls of stainless steel alloy enter this part of the facility's production, and starships and boosters exit the other. While that seems easy on paper, it is not as simple as you may think. To get the starships and boosters at the other end, there are two types of structures in the shipyard, each with a unique purpose and use. These can be categorized as tents and bays. The majority of the fabrication for all the tanks, test pieces, and vehicles is done in the three big production tents. Both ring segments for future work and the Raptor engines that are placed in vehicles presently in production are staged at Tent 1. The rings are made in Tent 2, which is also where the segments and domes are initially put together. The domes and ring segments are attached to one another to form a seal on the tent's northern side using sleeving jigs. The tops of the starships are made and occasionally tiled in Tent 3, which is also known as the Nose Cone Tent. Currently, there are four bays, with the Mega Bay being the most recently completed. Each of these structures has its purpose in the vehicle building process. The Low Bay, to the north of Tent 3, is where the Nose Cones are worked on with tiling, mounting to ring segments, and preparation for further assembly. The mid-bay, which is to the south of Tent 1, closest to State Highway 4, is used to assemble the body section of the ships, as well as other test tanks or ground service equipment tanks. The high bay is where the ship nose cone section and the body section are joined, as well as all of the booster assembly work. Currently, this is the only structure tall enough to support both a full starship and a full booster assembly, although not at the same time. The Mega Bay is able to support two parallel builds, meaning in this new building, they will be able to build a booster and ship at the same time with space to spare. It is roughly the same size as the High Bay, but twice as wide. The Mega Bay can allow two concurrent buildings, therefore they will have enough room in this new structure to simultaneously construct a booster and a ship. It is twice as wide but about the same size as the High Bay. Everything south of Remedias Avenue is considered the Sanchez site. As of fall 2022, it serves mostly as a staging and general storage space. The orbital launch tower segments and the cryo shells have previously been assembled and staged at this location. These two segments were finished, rolled to the launch complex, and then lifted onto the tower in calm weather. According to rumors, 
Boca Chica's Sanchez site would serve as the location for producing fuel to power orbital missions. Elon Musk's businesses are renowned for their vertical integration, and with the creation of Starship, it is anticipated that SpaceX will begin producing its own propellant in order to further lower launch costs. Next is the Launch Complex, which is the present focal point for everything Starship. As SpaceX transitions from a suborbital test campaign of the Starship vehicle to the orbital test campaign of the entire stack, this is where the majority of the work is now being done. A booster and ship will be tested during the anticipated five test flights, which will test crucial system components like the spacecraft's re-entry tiles. The suborbital launch site and the orbital launch site are the two main components of the launch complex. All of the Starship vehicle's testing has been done at the suborbital launch site. This portion of the complex is currently anticipated to serve as the future site of all verification testing for Starships prior to an orbital flight. The orbital side of the launch complex is where the magic is going to happen. The most striking element of the orbital launch side is, of course, the orbital launch integration tower. The OLIT is the tower that will provide propellant and stabilization to the full ship and booster stack during launch times through the quick disconnect arm. The first part of this arm was recently installed on the tower. However, there are still more parts to go. Starbase is referred to as the gateway to Mars by the space community and is the location of SpaceX's next-generation Starship rocket production and launch facilities. The first manned expeditions to Mars will take off from the Starbase region within the next 10 years, if all goes according to plan. Starbase is possibly the most significant facility in the entire globe for manned spaceflight in the future. To make sure such an important mission is on track, plans are in place to see SpaceX's enormous Starship rocket fly on its first ever orbital test trip. Elon Musk just announced the timeline for this flight, which you'll be able to see on this video right here. Stay up to date with all the latest findings in the galaxy at space-news.co and subscribe for all the latest videos from Space News.